Greetings, fellow shapers. What's your opinion on Opinel? So here it is. Um, I didn't look at the dimensions, the size of it when I bought it, which uh, probably should have. Um, I did wonder why it was so cheap, but it was uh, 13 pounds. So um, I've had one of these before and I really liked it. And yeah, I actually like this in its small form. Um, it's obviously a lot more portable. There's no lock on it. It's just hinged. And uh, it seems to be a good quality product, as always with these French blades. It's carbon steel, which I was recommended to go with just to keep a, a reasonable edge on it. I really like this size. I, I want to use it for fine whittling. Um, the handle could do with being bigger, so I, I might make a, a polymorph um, handle grip for it, just so it fits in there a little bit more comfortably. But that said, that isn't uncomfortable. Um, I don't know how long I could whittle with that before getting pains. You never really do know till you try. But I'm going to obviously modify this a little bit here or there. Um, I've got a few ideas already. So that will be ongoing. So, Udo, my friend, this is thinner than your papers. It's uh, a blue Rizla, which is uh, much thinner. I use these and I don't like to smoke paper, so this is a little bit better. So this should be harder, So I, and I'm not expecting much. I haven't touched this, this is just from... <laughs> that wasn't really a cut, that was a tear. Yeah, these are very thin. Oh yeah, we got a little bit there. So it comes reasonably sharp. Um, I don't think I'll ever get it as sharp as you get it, to be fair. But I'm looking forward to seeing other people's ideas as well on this subject, as I'm new to it. Quite frankly, I'm not a knife person, never have been, still not. I don't like anything that's kind of dangerous. It's just me really. Um, I avoid it where I can and I don't want any accidents with this because I think you could have an accident with this quite easily. So straight away I'm going to work on making this safer to use. Um, I've been loving these little magnets. They, they cost I think £152 each or something, I don't know, maybe even a pound. But they're so powerful for their size. And with my old magnet, which is now, um, well, I've been playing with it for 45 years, since I was five years old. And it's always been there, this magnet. It's very powerful. And once that is on there, you cannot pull it off quite frankly you have to slide it and then pull it but that is very powerful especially when put together with that magnet everything's trying to yeah anyway um i bought these I've got two of these now. Um, they are, I think, £11 each. Maybe 10 maybe 12 
I'm never great on details, but they have got a magnetic strip on the back here, which is quite handy. Um, but it's not very powerful. So using another powerful magnet on top of the magnet that's in there actually makes it very powerful. And that is powerful enough to go through my thick canvas tent. So I can have this on the outside of the tent of my thick canvas and then this will easily attach itself to anywhere in my tent which I like these are nice mellow lights I like the yellow light I don't like white light so yeah magnets this little device here just to carry the flame around um, I've been looking for a little metal tube, but then I thought, well, it doesn't have to be metal as such, does it? So I just drilled a hole through a little piece of wood, tied a knot on the end of this wick, and that will actually last quite a long time. Um, I have actually rubbed it in wax as well, just to help burn a bit. Um, but that doesn't seem to go out once it's going. You can also strike a flint onto this if you spread it out and whatnot. Um, not my preferred method perhaps, but it's certainly worth having just for the size of it. I like the little things, which includes this. This is another old knife, um, very old, um, older than me in fact. So it's so old, but it does hold a very sharp edge. It's not going to be carbon steel or anything fancy, it's going to be steel. But the scissors are very useful on it still. can't believe they still work after all these years, quite frankly, of me mainly using it. And also my dad. And the little tweezers are still there, can you believe? So, yeah, that's more of a keepsake. I love that little thing, just because of the history. Um, I've got this bag here, which uh, is a bit like an EDC bag, I guess. It's a, quite a large EDC bag, but I tend to use it just because it's the perfect size to fit in a 10-inch um, tablet um, and lots and lots of, well, it, all of my technology goes in here. So it's not an EDC bag, but it's electronics bag. And it seems to have this waterproof lining, which I wouldn't push too far. Um, I wouldn't like to leave my electric electronics in the rain, no matter how much they claim to be waterproof. But there's lots of little pockets and things going on inside there. There's Velcro bit there, which isn't very good Velcro. You can tell that isn't very good Velcro. But maybe replace it. Um, and yeah, straps in pockets and pockets in pockets in pockets and more pockets. And yeah, every time I look at this, I find that it's got my tablet in the back there. I didn't even know. But yeah, the tablet fits in the back easily. Uh, that's where I keep my mobile phone for quick access. And it's a single strap sling over so you could actually add that to your carry load I use a hundred litre rucksack but obviously you attach a lot more additional things to it don't you and this can be worn with it on the front instead of the back so that I like and that was only 13 pounds again at a bargain it had mixed reviews some of them saying they received them in awful states and um, some people saying they fell apart all the stitches so I don't know maybe I got lucky but I've had this for a month maybe more and I've used it quite a lot already no problems so far I'll keep you updated on that one because they are a popular bag at the moment just because they're so cheap uh, we have got this is going to go around my stove area 
really it's going to be like a they're like welders blankets but this is a very cheap one this was 10 pounds but it is actually quite large it's a meter by one meter um, and if nothing else it will reflect the heat back at me a bit um, and maybe even help protect little areas I don't know at what temperature that can withstand I don't think too much but we'll have to see and test um, still got lots of these bits of plastic that I'm mucking around with from the inflatable bed and some silver tape which goes up to 250 degrees I think um, it's not a very high temperature but it could be used in the background somewhere it was very cheap again I think a pound or two yeah, I'm making a grip Ooh, I'm making a grip for the uh, torch a new thermoplastic seat so it can sit on my tripod like um, imagine this is the tripod it's gonna sit on the side here I think and I'm gonna make this a generic um, clip so I can take this off and put something else on kind of thing on a telescopic monopod if it's even called that um, so lots of things going on at the moment mostly indoors I shall be going out again shortly it's just um, I don't know I, I tend to hibernate a little bit in January but I shall be going back out very shortly because I need to do a few things test lots of things and come back with some results hopefully thanks for watching guys until next time Take care.